Graham Vivian Sutherland O.M. was a prolific English artist, born in 1903. He was known for his abstract landscapes and portraits of public figures. Sutherland was skilled in various mediums, including printmaking, tapestry, and glass design. During the 1920s, Sutherland focused on printmaking, particularly romantic landscapes. He later transitioned to using oil paints in the 1940s, creating a series of surreal paintings depicting the Pembrokeshire landscape. His reputation as a leading British modern artist was established through these works. In the Second World War, Sutherland served as an official war artist, portraying industrial scenes on the British home front. After the war, he embraced figurative painting, with notable works like The Crucifixion in 1946, combining religious symbolism with natural motifs such as thorns. Sutherland's influence extended beyond his artwork. He was commissioned to design the central tapestry, Christ in Glory in the Tetramorph, for the new Coventry Cathedral. However, some of his portrait commissions in the 1950s sparked controversy, notably Winston Churchill's dislike of his depiction. Sutherland also taught at various art colleges, including Chelsea School of Art and Goldsmiths College. Living abroad in Nice led to a decline in his status in Britain, but a visit to Pembrokeshire in 1967 revitalized his creativity and helped restore his reputation as a leading British artist. Graham Sutherland, the renowned British painter, was born in Streatham, London. He grew up in a creative household, with both of his parents being amateur painters and musicians. Sutherland attended Homefield Preparatory School and later Epsom College in Surrey. Initially, he embarked on an engineering apprenticeship at the Midland Railway Locomotive Works in Derby. However, after a year, Sutherland convinced his father that his true calling was in art. In 1921, he enrolled at Goldsmith School of Art, as there were no vacancies at his first choice, the prestigious Slade School of Fine Art. During his early career, Sutherland experimented with various art forms, including printmaking and book illustration. However, it was his landscape paintings that gained him recognition. Inspired by the British countryside, Sutherland captured the essence of nature with his unique style and use of color. His artworks, such as Black Landscape and Welsh Landscape with Roads, showcased his ability to depict the beauty and tranquility of the natural world. In the later years of his life, Sutherland explored different themes and subjects in his art. He delved into the devastating effects of war, depicting scenes of destruction and desolation in paintings like Devastation, 1941, City, Panorama of Ruin, and The Marshalling Yard at Traps, France Damage Done by RAF. Despite the challenges posed by the era, Sutherland continued to create thought-provoking artwork that pushed the boundaries of traditional painting. In conclusion, Graham Sutherland, the renowned British painter, was a versatile artist who made significant contributions to the art world. His ability to excel in various mediums, including printmaking, tapestry, and glass design, showcased his versatility and creativity. Sutherland's early landscapes, such as Black Landscape and Welsh Landscape with Roads, captured the beauty and tranquility of nature with his unique style and use of color. His later works, such as Devastation, 1941, City, Panorama of Ruin, and The Marshalling Yard at Traps, France Damage Done by RAF, depicted the devastating effects of war, pushing the boundaries of traditional painting. Sutherland's legacy extends beyond his artwork, as he was commissioned to design the central tapestry for Coventry Cathedral and taught at various art colleges. He was a true visionary who left a lasting impact on the art world.